Hi guys! <laughs> Sorry, <laughs> this is like really clinky. Um, today I'm doing my June glossy box. You guys know, little disclaimer, that these videos are always like a month late. Um, that's just how I roll, okay? But um, I wanted to review also the items from my May glossy box just super quickly because I like to do that. I like to, you know, kind of make these videos somewhat informative and not have them just be like an unboxing video because that would just be kind of boring. So, um, if you guys checked out, I didn't actually do a video on the May Glossy Box because it was super late because we were in Sorrento and on holiday and it was just kind of muddled up. So um, I did it on my blog. So go check out that blog post if you haven't already. But um, just a quick, quick, quick review. So uh, the first thing that I got was the um, Unique One All-in-One Hair Treatment. This claims to do a billion bajillion things. Um, I had high expectations for this product. It's just a, it's a spray, but it's like, it comes out like a leave-in conditioner, kind of like a cream um, for your hair, if I didn't say that already. And um, it's got like 10 steps that it's supposed to do. So like repair, shine and frizz control, heat protection, silkiness, smoothness, UVA, UVB filters, blah, blah, blah. Like it's supposed to be like amazing. And I really did have high expectations for this, but I don't feel like it did anything special to my hair. Um, so I was kind of disappointed in that. I did use it a couple of times and I just felt like there was no difference whatsoever than my usual leave-in conditioner. So that was kind of disappointing, but um, it smells like very strong, like a salon kind of like you just got your hair done kind of smell. Um, next thing I really liked, it was the Murad Acne Clarifying Mask. And um, this has 4.0 sulfur acne treatment, um, target repair. So I've never actually used a mask like this before, um, specifically for acne. And you guys know that I do suffer from acne, um, pregnancy, hormonal acne, as well as teen acne and like just normal acne. Yeah, I'm just, yeah, I'm acne prone. Um, and I do have oily combination skin. So um, I was very curious to try this. I tried it. Um, I think twice you're supposed to just apply it onto clean skin and then leave it for 10 minutes and take it off. And I did this in the shower and I really liked how my skin felt afterwards. You know, it didn't break me out obviously or anything like that. Um, my skin has been quite clear actually for the last couple of weeks. So fingers crossed it stays like that. So I did like this. It's very um, like a clay. It's kind of like a clay based formula, um, which is normal for, for this kind of product, I think. But, um, yeah, it just makes your skin feel very refreshed and it doesn't have a strong smell or anything, so like that, because you don't want it to smell like sulfur. <laughs> sulfur smells gross. Um, next thing was, well, obviously I finished it, but it's Noble Isle, the new tradition, summer rising Cornish hedgerows bath <laughs> and shower gel. Okay, so this is amazing. I used this right up. Um, oh my god, I love the smell. I don't know what it reminds me of, but I feel like it's a perfume or a, something that my mom used to use when I was little, and it's just so nice. It's it's like, I know my mom used a lot of Yardley products um, back in the day when Yardley was still around. I don't think it is anymore, and um, I just, I think that's probably what this smells like, I'm guessing. But it's just a shower gel, and it was just very, like, luxurious and everything, and I, I loved the smell of it. And every time I used it, uh, Jophus was like, what are you using? Like, did you use something different? Like, every time he smelt, like, the shower afterwards, it smelled amazing. So, sorry, that's my mom texting me. But, um, yeah, love this. And then... Also got these lashes, the Eldora eyelashes. I did not use these because I haven't gotten a chance to yet. However, they are um, they are like super natural looking, so I probably will use them. So sorry, I don't have a full review on that. And then we got two perfumes as well, which I hated. Um, I knew right away when I sprayed them the first time I got them, I didn't like them. Um, they're Lolita Lempica, Lempica, um, oh on low on blanc, and then this one is. Pacific Creation. I'm not really sure. But this one smells like aftershave to me and this one smells like kind of cheapo perfume that you would get for like a preteen or like a really young teen. I, I don't know. It, it just, it really, they, they're not very, they're not up my alley at all. So that was kind of disappointing but on the whole got some good stuff, some stuff I didn't really like. And now we're going to move on to the June box, which I have not opened at all yet. So it's just been sitting in my closet 
all lonely and sad and waiting to be opened. And apparently this is their sexy summer box. So let us take a look inside. It's the card I get. It's quite sexy. And um, apparently there is a hidden little gift in here, which is a brush um, that Glossy Box have created themselves. So I'm gonna open it up. Actually, I'm just gonna do this on the lap because I don't want everything to spill out all over the place. Okay, first thing I see is this Sun Lotion by Green People Organic Lifestyle. Um, this is SPF 15 and it's medium. Is this for your face? I don't really know. Um, yeah, UV protection and healthy tan, organic aloe vera, green tea, edelweiss, scent free sun lotion. Cool. Okay. Excited to try that. Next thing is, oh my God, I saw this on the card. I was like, whoa. Um, HD Brows Precision Tweezers. That is so cool. I can't believe they sent me some tweezers. Cause um, I got the HD Brow Palette with one of the very early on glossy boxes and I absolutely, okay, why is this not coming out, seriously? Um, I absolutely love it, I still use it and I'm really sad because it's kind of wasting out now, but hold on a second, I'm just gonna try and open this up, okay. Why is this so difficult? Ooh, they're very heavy um, and they're kind of matte and they're black. How snazzy do they look? Okay, I'm really looking forward to using them because I love HD brows. Next up is the glossy box brush. So this looks to me like a little blush brush. There we go. That's gonna be cute. Actually, I definitely will use this in my handbag because the one I use now sheds like crazy. So that's cute. And then um, BM Beauty uh, Mineral Bronzers in Summer Warmth. So a little tiny pot of this. Um, that's gonna be cute because I'm looking for a new bronzer actually. So that will be great. Um, and then the last thing which came somewhat different than I thought, um, is this, your Vichy Derma Blend Starter Kit, containing six sample shades, porcelain, opal, light, nude, sand, bronze. Um, yeah, so it's a foundation stick for minor to severe skin flaws, which I, I definitely have, <laughs> both of those. So um, I guess this just kind of tells you all about the product and how to apply it, and you can pick your shade and everything. So. That's actually gonna be really interesting to try because I've never tried anything by Vichy before. So, um, and that's everything that's in my box. It's empty. Um, in my sexy summer box. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please check out pictures on my blog. Um, I know sometimes with this lighting, stuff doesn't show up very well or it's all like bright white. So um, check out the pictures on my blog and um, don't forget to check out our Dublin meetup, which we're having this Saturday. I'm so excited to do it, and um, we kind of organized it all today, so all the information for that, the event page, all that stuff will be down below. So if you live in Dublin or anywhere near Dublin in Ireland and you'd like to meet us, then definitely come along to that. Um, and I will talk to you in my next video. Bye.